the Devil May Cry 4 benchmark. Have a wee closer look at this. Eight hundred plus frames, seven hundred plus frames. I'm sure that'll be fine for gaming. We top up with nitrogen. And we're running through the benchmark. And here are the scores for Devil May Cry 4. We've got scene 1 at 759.78, scene 2 is 588.48. Scene 3 is 899.71 and scene 4 is 489.4. Four. Temperatures dropping now, minus 30, minus 130 should I say, and around minus 50, minus 60 on the graphics cards. This is the updated version of the Benchmark Heaven. This is version 2.0. I'll just give my pots here a quick top up and we'll go in for a slightly closer look. So those are we full. Keep me nice and busy. Running four pots and a camera all at once. But here we go. We can have a closer look at the Benchmark itself and all its DirectX 11 Splendor. And we can see down here that we're running minus 137 on the CPU, around the minus 140 marks for the graphics cards. Not that you'll pick it up, but currently it's running at 245 frames a second. And here we have the final score of 285.3 frames per second. I should also point out that I'm running this on DirectX 11 with the highest resolution that my monitor will take, which is 1680 by 1050, with every other setting maxed out, um, including AA and all the other bits and pieces. As you can see, this is Street Fighter five benchmark. We're averaging around by the looks of it around 470 frames for that first round. Again like the other benchmarks we're at 5.8 gigahertz and 1200 by 1240 on the graphics cards. It's given us an average frames of 385.11 frames per second with a score of 25126. Quick look at the setup. Here we have the benchmark Resident Evil 5. So these are we top up. And again, we'll have a closer look at the benchmark itself. Now that we've got some nitrogen in those pots, we'll have a very, very quick, oops, quick look at it closer up. I'm running the variable benchmark.
more than playable frames per second now. Pop that back up there for a second. This benchmark seems to be holding the most amount of nitrogen out of all the game benchmarks I've run so far tonight. For this run, we've got the CPU at 5.8 GHz and we've got all four graphics cards running at 1300 on the core and 1240 on the memory. And I'm trying to keep the CPU at approximately minus 140 and the graphics cards between minus 70 and minus 80 degrees. And keeping all that balanced, with only myself pouring, certainly is a challenge.